working hard tonight, I see. Uh, oh, it's you, Gramps. A little late for a tough job like that, don't you think? You know me, Gramps. I love the exercise. For me, doing this is a lot of fun. I'm glad to hear it. With everyone being so upset about the missing rice that someone snuck in and ate before the evening meal, I thought that this might be a way of atoning for what you did. Uh, as a sort of punishment. I get it. You knew about it and came to make fun of me, didn't you? <laughs> I'm still growing, you know, so I just can't help myself. There's no way I can hold out till dinner. Sorry. Ah, so much energy. This place is going to be rather quiet after you've gone. What did you just say? I said that this place will be rather quiet after you've left us. I see. It's time then? Yes. The star has shifted. Huh? The star? The star of destiny. The one that shines brighter than all the rest. <laughs> That means what was foretold is about to begin. You must be on your way now. As one of the dragons of heaven, as one of the seven seals, the time has come for you to fulfill your destiny. Old man stargazer, I... I understand. You don't have to say anything. All right, then. But before I leave here... I'm going to polish this place until it's so shiny, you're going to be able to see your face in it. I understand. What did Lady Hinoto say? That we all should meet in Tokyo as soon as possible. Oh, I see. So the day has finally come. Lady Kayada, thank you for taking care of me for such a long time. My dear, it is I who should be thanking you for being here with me. Arashi. Your hair's always been so fine. Tonight I shall comb it for you the way I used to long ago. Grandma, Inuki's acting kind of funny, isn't he? For good reason. Inuki is wise. He already knows. Huh? Knows what? That the time we always knew would come is upon us, that your powers will be needed. What did you say? My powers will be needed? That means I'll have to leave. And go to Tokyo! All right! And Nuki, when we get to Tokyo, we'll go to the Petit Bondo and eat ice cream every night. Now, Yuzuriha. Uh, I gotcha. Right, Anuki? I've just finished with the case requested by the Imperial Household Office. And I'm sure you did a fine job. Thank you for working so hard. And you, Subaru? You're doing well, I hope? Yes. Please, Subaru, do your best to come visit us in Kyoto once in a while. I will come next month, when I come to Kyoto for the seven-year ritual in remembrance of my sister's death. I'm glad. It's been too long. I'm so looking forward to seeing you. Right. Good night, then. Five-pointed star. That's the symbol of the Sakura Sukumori. C. 
sister. I think I'll finally be able to find him again. Will you be happy for me? Or... Fine. Tell them I'll be right down. Looks like it's time to dedicate myself to my true calling. Chief, we did it. Mariyama's manuscripts are done. They're ready to be published. That's a relief. Good work. Thanks. That deadline was so tight I wasn't sure Thanks if I Thanks could... again. You did a great job. Oh, that's really nice. Huh? Oh, the tie. Thanks. It was a birthday gift for my wife. Of course, I'm sure it was my daughter, Yuka, who actually picked it out. It certainly looks great on you, Mr. Aoki. <laughs> uh, gee, <laughs> thanks. And now... Huh? Oh. I can finish editing this tomorrow. I told Yuka I'd read to her tonight from where we left off last time in her storybook. The dragons of heaven are beginning to gather in Tokyo. The seven seals, the seven stars of heaven. And the one that emits a light stronger than all the others. Shifting, moving, it has finally begun. Is that you, Kamoi? I've come for the Divine Sword. It's been six years now. Your mother, Toru, honored me by leaving the Shinken in my care, and I have been protecting it ever since. If the Divine Sword is rightfully yours, then you shall have it. But there is one question which must be answered first. What is it? Before I give you the Shinken, it is my duty to make certain that you are the one worthy of receiving it. Make certain, you say? Who will? For what purpose? Someday you will understand. What I understand is that you've decided to make things difficult and create an unnecessary delay in my plans to take the sword and leave Tokyo immediately. I cannot allow that. <laughs> what can I say? I refuse to be treated like a child. I have no intention of following anyone's orders. I don't have a lot of time for this. Hand it over. If you want it that badly, then take it. Defeat me, and the Shinken is yours. Are you serious? Do you really intend to fight me for it? You leave me no other choice. I warn you. I won't hold back. Don't 
Do you really desire to die that badly? This song of eternal part was written by Kenji when he faced the death of his younger sister, Toshi. The portion of the poem, entitled Ora Ora de Shituri Egomo, is purportedly the speech uttered by Toshi from her sickbed and can be interpreted as a demonstration of her feeling that she was going to die alone, while at the same time assuring oh. her brother that she had accepted oh, her fate and that he needn't worry Here, about thank it. thank you. Mono, oh. will you please begin reading, starting on page 43, the sixth line. Uh, yes, sir. And now I pray, pray from the bottom of my heart, that as you are eating these two bowls of snow... It's transformed into heavenly ice cream and becomes sacred food, which will provide eternal and divine sustenance for you and everyone else. I do hope and pray for this on my knees in all humility. Huh? Aren't you ready yet? We're gonna be late. There, all done. Uh. Father, I've got to go. Will you take the laundry in when it's dry? Yeah, sure. Go on now. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. All right, you guys, I know you're there. Come on out. It's my first day at my new school, and I don't want to be late. <laughs> so let's get this over with, shall we? ugly. Get lost! Shikis. They don't know me too well if they believe a mere paper spell servant can stop me. Go back to your master and give him this message from me. If you get in my way, then be prepared to die. This song of eternal parting was written by Kenji when he faced the death of his younger sister, Toshi. The portion of the poem, entitled Ora Ora de Shituri Egomo, is purportedly the speech uttered by Toshi from her sickbed and can be interpreted as a demonstration of her <gasps> feeling that she was going to die oh, alone. Sorry. But at the same time, assuring her brother that she had what accepted her fate and that he needed Here, to worry thank about you. Mono, uh, will you please begin reading, starting on page 43, the sixth line. Yes, sir. And now I pray, pray from the bottom of my heart, that as you are eating these two bowls of snow... It's transformed into heavenly ice cream and becomes sacred food, which will provide eternal and divine sustenance for you and everyone else. I do hope and pray... I have the strangest feeling. It's as if... Huh? No way! Oh no! What's wrong? You may take your seat. Huh? 
Uh, yes, sir. Again. Jeez, Mona, do you have to kick it so hard? I thought I was gonna die for sure. Sorry. I'll go get the ball. Can't be. Oh no! Bring back the ball! Oh, sorry! Hi, Kothari. Wait till you hear this. That new boy who transferred into our class is really cute. I mean, the guy is totally fine. Oh, really? <gasps> He's kind of cool and laid back, you know what I mean? Hey, there he is now. Yeah, that's the guy. He's a little short, but who cares? He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait! Huh? Kothari! That's funny. She's usually kind of shy. You're right. That's not like her. Wait! Please, wait a minute! Excuse me, I was wondering, is your name Kamui? It is, isn't it? You are Kamui, right? Remember me? My name is Kotorimono, from the Togakushi Shrine. I knew it had to be you. It's been quite a while since we've seen each other. What's really amazing is that last night, I dreamt that this would happen, and now my dream has come true. I know it must sound crazy, but I actually had a dream that you would transfer to our school. Well, aren't you going to say anything? Is something wrong? Oh, I know what it is. You must be uptight because you just transferred here, right? I want nothing to do with you. Get it? Uh, now go away and don't ever talk to me again. Uh, What's wrong with you, Kamui? Why are you so rude? After six years, I think you'd say something nicer. I'm not who I was six years ago. What's that supposed to mean? Leave me alone. Oh. I see. Then I'm sorry I was so friendly. Weird. I don't get it. How long do you plan on eavesdropping? <laughs> oh no! Princess Hinato! Princess! I warned you, didn't I? Get in my way, be prepared to die. Sneaking around in other people's heads. Everything about it disgusts me. Princess. I'm all right. It's just that no one's ever reflected my vision spell back at me before. But isn't that impossible? Who could have done it? I saw him quite clearly. And when I saw his face, I knew. I knew I'd seen it before. The face of the boy who appeared in my dreams. So he is the one. He is Kamui. 